welcome back to another show of End of the Bench. I'm Jesse Valdez, and this is yours truly, David Vito. Yeah, the one and only, man. The one and only. <laughs> Today's episode's about the sports rally Bruins football team here at Salt Lake Community College. How, Check it out. How awesome is that, that you have Salt Lake Community College Bruins football team with sports rally? That's got to be amazing. It's, it is awesome. It's sweet, and we're going to just kind of touch grounds with it, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss, you know, how you started it, really. What was, what was your most favorite memory, too, right? Exactly. And uh, we're going to talk about our fourth season going in that starts this fall. So uh, enjoy. Our biggest thing here at Slick with Sports Rally, the football. Yeah, the sports home is home, home of the Sports Rally football team here. And last year, you guys made the first trip to the playoffs in first your trip. expansion of Sports Rally and the football scene down there. And now the UTFL, the Utah Tackle Football League, is making a lot of new changes a to lot, the league. A lot of new changes. Including kickoffs. Kickoffs and onside kicks will now... Be in this league. Onside Before kicks. you started on a twenty yard line, something like that. Now it's kickoffs, so it could change. It could be a game changer. Oh, it could be, and you never. You're gonna have to figure out special teams now. How you're gonna direct that, and you have to find. Maybe you can find yourself a speedy kick return that can return a lot of kicks, like a Devin Hester type thing. Not only somebody that's speedy, but that's somebody that has the guts to do it. <laughs> yeah, <'cause laughs> because because I'm fast, but I don't know if I have the guts to. Oh man, they're cutting well, down. It's pretty dangerous, and that's what, especially in the NFL. And that's why I saw white football. They're they're cutting down on concussions, and they're trying to maybe in the NFL trying to eliminate kickoffs. Well, that in that, general, and that's part of the reason why it wasn't in the UTFL to begin with. They tried to want to, you know, what we want to keep this safe, fun. It's a safety issue. Yeah. But now they're bringing it in. They have a new website. They have they're bringing in a lot of new stuff. All the games. If you're here, if you're locally here from Utah and you live either in the Utah County, Salt Lake County. Oh yeah. Or, you know, over out in Layton Park. And you they're, want to play. Yeah, you definitely want to contact Jesse and get on Sports Rally. It's a, like I said, first, what was it, your third season in? You guys made your first playoff trip? Yep. So um, this will be our fourth season in. Again, this is the UTFL. Everything's changing up. The games. So it was more of a Utah County based league. Now it's coming here towards Salt Lake. At the point of the mountain yeah. here in the Draper Lehigh area, so That's we want to we want to get fans out here. There's going to be more Salt Lake teams, and when you when we talk about tackle football, you don't it's hard, and you don't hear about you know tackle football, like oh, yeah, especially you can, here at Salt Lake Community College, especially here at the at Slick. I mean, yeah, you can go play recreational basketball. You can go play recreational softball. Correct. You can play intramurals through other uh, universities yep. or campuses. That's correct. But not football. Maybe flag football, maybe, but not tackle football. So, Slick, we are the only source for tackle football. Our sports rally Bruins team, as well as our official official coverage coverage of Bruins football. Here with Sports at Home and Dave Vito. So we want to try to get, we're, we're recruiting as we speak. We're going to try to switch things up a little bit. Uh, take a step back. Let's let's get let's get some players. You know, whether you want to come back. If you played the prior seasons or, or last season, let's get you back on the team. If you want to come back, make sure to contact me. Um, last season, we did a lot of clinical tryouts, trying to figure out, because with football, with any sport, you're trying to figure out who's good, and who's dedicated and committed yeah. to show up to practices in game day, right? Yeah, just like any sport, yeah. Well, with this, we've already done that. We already talked about, or we already figured out who's committed. So we necessarily don't need to run our clinical tryouts for the, as long as we did last season. We're going to condense them a little lot more and then just bring on those people that we do know is committed to our football team. As well as we, w we will still have a tryout day and all that, but please make sure to get on your stuff if you want to play with us. Uh, registration fees and all that, that will be covered here in the future. But if you want to get on the football team and you want to play some Bruins football, whether you play, whether you go here or not to school at Slick or not, contact me anyway. I mean, this is a community thing. We want to get everyone involved. We want to give you the second chance to get out there and put on the pads. So, have you had a, a really fun experience that you want to share right now with the football season, whether it was last year or when you first started? What was what's the most favorite memory you have of the football season with sports rally? I think one of the most I can't really put it down to like a specific thing, 
But I think one of the most things is seeing our progression. Seeing that we started out playing with maybe 13 guys at the most. It's good. You know, we went into the second season, and, you know, you put those two seasons together, we only won one game. Yeah. Didn't win a game the second, se the first season. With the 13 guys you had? Yeah, nothing, you know, and we come into this, and a lot of, I'll, I'll, I'll probably admit, I, I guarantee there's a lot of teams in that league, that league in general probably thought we weren't going to come back. There's no way Sports Rally's going to come back because we just got pounded on, yeah. you know, and we did. And, and, and to see the progression of just the little things, you know, where we upgraded, we got nice jerseys, mm -hmm. and we got, you know, now we have these decals, and, and just seeing the, how everybody else reacts to it. I, I, now that I think about it, now that you bring up what's the most memorable thing, yeah. the thing that I love the most is what the players will tell me. And not every player will tell you this, but it's the, those ones that will come up to you, and they'll be like, you know what, Jesse, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for giving me the second chance to play football. Give me the I want to thank you. Yeah. You know, I, I had I had a, a guy come up to me saying, you know what, I thought I was done playing football because I'm older now and, you know, I have kids and family and I didn't know if I was going to play again. And you mm -hmm. gave me that opportunity to, to do that. Yeah. And I had a couple of people do that. And that's, those are the moments that I love the most. I love where it actually meant something. It's more than just playing football. Yeah, so. yeah I've, I mean, with you being that, I've had people that want to be sports writers mm -hmm. have come up to me and said, okay, thank you for giving me the opportunity to write for your website. And it's the same thing. I, like, you need dedicated people to do yeah. what they want to do and be committed. Has that been kind of an issue in the past, that you haven't had much commitment? Commitment's always an issue. And finding commitment, that, that's why you got to go through these trials to find who really wants to play, who really doesn't, you know? And everybody has a, set, a different state of mind. Yeah. And with our football, we could barely get people to practice. Practice didn't exist. Yeah, you know? It's Iverson, man. You don't need practice. Come on. Practice didn't exist. But <laughs> with us, it's like, man, we're not that great. We need to do everything yeah. we can to make it in this league. And, and, and practice became something great. It became from where us, we could barely, you know, get five guys to come practice with us and progress to our th last season, our third season, yeah. to where on an average we had 20 people. 20 players show up for practice, and that was on a weekday. I'm not even counting weekends before Saturdays before the the season started. Yeah. So it, uh, the, you you need the practice, you need the commitment. Without it, you know it's it's a hit and it's a hit and miss. Uh, the commitment from your players is it determines whether your team's good or not. It's it really falls back on your players. So, what's your thoughts of the really the onside kick and kickoff coming up for your team in this season? Do you think it's gonna you think it's gonna benefit you guys? It's. It's an open field for anybody, you know, honestly. I don't know. I would have to figure out what we're going to do with that aspect, with the coaches, mm -hmm. getting the coaching staff and everything together for the fourth season. It, but, you know, you never know. And that's why they kind of keep them, you know, in, the, in football because it's an experience that you, you don't know what might happen, especially with the onside kicks. Yep. It's like, well, we might get this onside kick and we might win this game with only 10 seconds left. And that's why they do it. So it could be a game changer. Like I said, this league has... We've been with it for just a little over a year. It's a, it's, a, it's a growing experience, and it's cool to see that we've been a part of the UTFL through what they've been doing from when we first started, the teams that have been in this league for a lot longer than what I have. Yeah. And just to see that, well, now they're up, they revamped their Facebook or their, like website, their Facebook and website. their websites, and they're revamping you know, the way f the football's played here. Mm -hmm. And the locations and the time on the clock. It's so it's good to see that we could be a part of this. So yeah, it's going to be a great time to see the the way you guys. I think you guys had really good success last season, mm -hmm. and just that playoff game, the very first one. It was it was one you you should have won. Do you think? Yeah, and you, and it, it, it's, I'm not going to say we should have won, but we should have okay. at least put up a fight. Okay, it, it, it just seemed like. We need to just get our fundamentals together and cut next season. And that's the hard part about it. Every season's different because you don't know who's coming back. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't know who's going to stay and who's going to leave because it, it just always seems like every season's a recycle yeah. of new players. You never know who's going to yeah. So, you know, we could be back to what we were se our second season or our first season. You don't know. You get, just because you did it the, thir the third season, just because we look, you know, really awesome our third season. Yeah. Doesn't mean we're gonna have that 
for our fourth season. So that's the hard part. It's it always feels like I'm rebuilding a team. I'm you know I'm trying to market it right to get people to know that there's a football team. If you go to Slick and you want to play football, hey, we still got you. You know, I, at times I was going to high schools saying, hey, if you're planning on going to Slick after you graduate, seniors, you know, seniors yeah, that yeah, were seniors. there, stuff like that. If they, if they were planning on going to Slick and they played football for Hunter, that's where I went. I went to Hunter High. Sure. Um, and they wanted to play, but they weren't going to the U or places like that where they could try to get on the football team. And they still wanted to play it, but they weren't. We could still get those guys involved, and that's what I was trying to do. It's it, it's all about trying to market it and trying to get, you know, more school involvement. Really, yeah. you get the school spirit spirit there, it makes the school. So yeah, was, with a lot of other sports, basketball, softball, women's basketball, men's baseball here yeah. at the campus, there people there's trying to be talks to get a football team here, but with that. With that time period with no football team here, it's glad that you, it's really I'm glad that you brought a sense of football to the Bruins school here, and I think it's amazing that what you've done. Oh, right on, man, and I'm glad that we're partnering up to get some stuff done. So yes. I mean, it's helping out with your with your radio and with what I do with what I do hands on with kind of mm -hmm. the field of play. It's I think it's gonna be an awesome experience. I mean, I even we even got these ones are specified sports rally pens. But well, we're going to get some sports at home ones, yep. some ones that say both of our names, you know. Yeah. We have a lot of stuff to give away to show, you know, support the movement. Get a hat. Get a t-shirt. Because not only are you representing, you are helping fund our organization. Helping the cause. So you're helping the cause. You're mm -hmm. helping the cause. So, like, when you see our partnership shirts, we're not just getting, the, we're not just selling those. Those are actually helping us yep. build something here. To so. get the next product the next movement to help the football team get yeah. stuff here and there, which is going to be great. And to have him come out and, uh, you know, be the official coverage it's for like, Bruins football. It's like the voice of, Bru of Bruins football. It, it, it will become <laughs> something. I think, we, I think we have some good ideas. So, And we got a lot more great ideas coming up in the near future where we want to get more people involved with maybe – like a charity run, yeah. a 5K mm -hmm. event going on. And I think with if we do that, me and Jesse are in talks with a couple charities. We have a couple charities in mind that we want to help out. Mm -hmm. that Sponsorships we, in general. Yeah, that would help so. not us out, but, you know, we want to help. We want to give back as well. Exactly. And this is kind of a, a thing that helps everybody and helps us at the same time. When we're talking about doing these charity events and doing fundraising, you know, you, what we're, we're trying to get out there to people is, not only is this getting involved in your community, it's it's gonna help. It's gonna help a charity event, whatever charity event or sponsorship we get, yep. and and it's, and it's gonna help us. You know, it's gonna help fundraising. If we do fundraising stuff like that, players. I know you sports rally players. You guys know the fees. You know how it is. Some it's a lot. It's not a lot. What are we getting for this? It, it's a hassle because it's 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 money. And yep. if we get people involved to do fundraising and stuff like that with sports rally and sports at home, you know. Essentially, fees will either be cut or waived completely, and that's what I want players to understand. Is yeah, I mean, you they can be playing for almost free, technically free, if you if you do everything right and do your part in this. And you you help with you know help with fundraising, help with doing the charity events, help with doing the run. Mm -hmm. You know, this is what I want the players, sports rally players, to know is that we're gonna start doing stuff like this to get you guys more involved and and, and you know give our organizations enough money to where we don't have to charge our players so much and and that's the thing and and, and I, I talked to you this before yeah. i i think the one of the coolest things is people coming up to us saying are you sponsored no then how come how do you get, have a hat and jacket yeah and, you know all that stuff is all that stuff is through you guys yep. that's all through the players and i'm i'm really awesome it's it's really i'm really grateful to say that we have all this stuff because of you guys, and I appreciate that. So. Well, we're coming up probably just at just about the closing point of the show, Jesse. We are, so. so we covered a lot of Bruins football today, and with the next couple editions of End of the Bench with Jesse Valdez and David Vito, we got a lot more themes to come up, like he said, and mm -hmm. we're excited to bring all the latest news and notes to you guys around the campuses, the community, the world in sports with Sports Home Radio, the mm -hmm. world of sports rally, and all the ways you can get involved. So. We got a good thing going here at the end of the match. We do. So check on for the giveaways. Giveaways, right? Yeah, and for all other information for Sports at Home, go to Sports at Home Radio on Facebook, sportsathomeradio.com. You can follow us on Twitter, at Sports at Home VNG. And for all sports rally news, Jesse? You can follow us on the Sports at Home Radio page as well. Just click on the Sports Rally tab. 
And then our Facebook page, facebook.com slash sports rally. And then we do have an Instagram that's Instagram uh, dot com slash sports rally as well. So well, until next time, I'm David Vino. This is Jesse Valdez. This is End of the Bench. See you guys next time.